thank you for watching this video during your church service, give you an update on what Wines and Youth of Christ have been doing. For those who don't know me, my name is Adam and I'm a Stockton Heath and Penketh worker and I started working full time for Wines and Youth of Christ in March this year. My role is to reach young people where they are and to see their lives changed by Jesus. I work in Bridgewater and Penketh High Schools in a local community and in partnership with local youth organisations and churches. More recently, I've been back in schools doing one-to-one -one mentoring, particularly supporting young people with, with their transition, mental health and well-being. I'm also able to sit in RE lessons, being God's hands and feet in the schools. There's also been the opportunity to do some community detached work too. This video montage gives you a flavour of what we've been doing as a team. Although it's been a difficult and strange year, we've had to change and adapt our work, but the work has continued. We've been able to use online platforms, as well as video communications, to reach young people. So we hope you enjoy watching this video, and thank you for your continued support and prayers. Music Monday, it's Tell a Story Tuesday, Wisdom Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday, Fun and Games Friday. Hi guys, so how are you doing with self-isolation? How do you feel when you hear the phrase going back to normal? I started to say to myself, you know, what is life all about? This week is Mental Health Awareness Week. What do you want to be when you grow up? We should love each other, respect each other. Some great tips for getting good sleep. What are you thankful for? Jesus said that he had come to give life and to life in all its fullness. In the Bible, there's some really incredible advice. Why am I a Christian? Twenty twenty has been a challenging year to say the least. Right at the beginning of this COVID period and the lockdowns and the school closures and everything that went with that, we decided as a team that we would pray together every morning for thirty minutes of every day of the week. And we've been doing that for the last six, seven months. God has really answered prayer and come through for us. We've seen new schools open up to us that we've never worked in previously. We've seen financial blessing. We really thought we might be in trouble, but actually God's been faithful there. We've seen a couple of grants come through that have helped cover any shortfalls and gaps. Before the schools reopened in September, all our ministry went online. We were doing mentoring online. We were doing our after-school fresh clubs online, encouraging those young people that we'd worked with before to continue on in their faith. For those who were being mentored, our staff were literally a lifeline, helping them and encouraging them, supporting them with many issues that they were facing over that period. We're now back in the high schools and staff are asking our, our staff to get alongside the students. So mentoring's exploded. Virtually every member of the team are getting alongside young people, helping them work through some of their issues. Certainly things that they encountered over that lockdown time uh, are coming out now. And so to have someone there that can support them, listen to them, give them some godly sound advice is pivotal really at this time. Surprisingly, two new schools have just recently been in touch with us, schools that we've not previously worked in. 
asking us to do virtual assemblies for their students. So we're able to serve those schools and a door's opening now to get more resources in. And with the uncertainty of things going forward, as a team, we've decided to retain our online presence as well as doing the face to face interactions with young people in school settings and detach work. We want to be there for our young people wherever they're at, whether they're stuck at home or whether they're in school or in the local community. We're currently doing an online short course called The Way. And it's just an introduction really to the Christian faith. Who is God? Why did Jesus die for us? Who is the Holy Spirit? Bringing young people on a journey online to a place where they can accept the Lord for themselves. It's really exciting for us and we'd ask if you would stand with us in prayer to pray for those young people who really want to see salvation. Things have been hindered this year. We've not been able to do some of the mission weeks in school and outside of school, some of the events that we would normally run where we'd see hundreds of young people hearing the gospel and many of those young people responding to. So we want to give them that opportunity online. So please do stand with us and pray as we take young people on that journey of faith. And as we go forward in school and out of school, our mandate still remains. We want to see young people's lives changed by Jesus.